Good morning, everybody. It's me, Tammy Devine, here with CCN Sunrise. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, we have something for all you parents out there. Did you know that 75% of kids are not able to find a spot in a kindergarten program or a preschool program. With me is Errol Gray with the Wonder School in Los Feliz, correct? Yep. Okay, right. good. Thank here. you so much for joining me. Um, you know, this is so important. So many people are parents out there and it's such a issue for, for parents with the little ones. Mm -hmm. um, we're all trying to work. Uh, Two-parent households trying to work. What do we do with the babies? We want to have it all, and I don't know if that's always possible. But you're saying that maybe it is with uh, yeah, with a place for possible. your kid. That's right. So what we're doing is trying to get um, a lot more teachers to open programs in their own schools, which makes it much more affordable. I mean, sorry, in their in their own homes. In which, their own homes. Yeah, in their own homes, and that makes it much more affordable. They're already paying rent. They don't have to rent out a commercial space. They don't have to buy a bunch more supplies. And then it also makes it so that they can be anywhere. So they can okay. be in the neighborhood. They can be near your work. And so we want to start uh, millions of these, really, in the long term. It sounds like homeschool. It is kind of like homeschool. Um, except because it's early childhood education, you can really get the same quality and support that you get in a, in a center or, or a large preschool, but do it out of your home. And uh, the advantages are in, in your home program, you get that kind of homey feeling, you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention, uh, and you, you can get a really nurturing environment um, close to you and convenient and also affordable. So you as the parent would be the teacher, or is there a teacher coming in? Some of ours uh, are, are parents, but uh, the idea is that it's run like a normal school, and so the person who's living there is, is operating like a school and is the head teacher. And so most of our teachers uh, already have a lot of experience in early childhood education. They've been a preschool teacher in the past, or they have a degree in it. And then for those who want to open a school that don't have that experience, we have mentors. We help them get into early childhood education programs, and we give them the support and the training that they need to be able to run a really high-quality school. So is this actually happening right now? Oh, yeah. So we have 80-something um, schools open right now throughout wow. California and in New York, uh, and we're opening in some other states as well. Um, but it's also something that's been happening for, for decades. You just don't really notice it. There, there are state-licensed schools run out of pre people's homes uh, in every state in the country. Well, yeah, and I'm part of a homeschool group. I homeschool mm -hmm. my 10 year old and four year old. And, oh, wow. um, and it, it sounds like exactly what we're doing. We're mm -hmm. part of, of a group and, um, we do, oh, hair just drive, drives me nuts. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 it, if it was up to me, I'd have just everyone would have no hair and then we wouldn't have to deal with it at all. But I digress. <laughs> with our homeschooling, what happens is that, um, we're part of the group mm -hmm. and then, mm, like, Monday through Thursday, we do regular homeschooling, and then on Friday, everybody gets together in a place to mm -hmm. do school. And so it sounds kind of like what you're talking about here. Yeah, it's similar. Uh, your, your kids go to the same place every, every day, uh -huh. um, and it's usually run by, sometimes the teachers have uh, their own kids in their program, but a lot of times our teachers will send their kids to a different winter school in the area so that they can be more focused on, on all the kids instead of their, their own kid drawing, drawing so much attention. And, and it then, has to do with the interaction, right, that yeah, you care about there. Exactly. The, the teacher-child interactions are really what's, what's key there. And with other students, right, or no? The students between each other? Uh-huh. Yeah, socialization is a, is a big part of it as well. And then also we make sure that all of our programs have outdoor time and um, really thoughtful spaces so that they, they're in a good environment to be able to learn and, um, and get prepared for kindergarten and, and uh, elementary school. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, wh where do you fit into all of this, um, this big program? So what we do is we uh, offer the support and we build a lot of software to help um, teachers get their programs set up, um, go through state licensing, and then also find parents interested in their programs. Because a lot of teachers um, have a dream of starting their own school, but then once they actually open the doors, they don't know how to market, they don't know how to sell their program, and so they end up with uh, no students and they have to close it down and they go do something else. So uh -huh. we really want to keep these teachers who are really great teachers, but but they shouldn't also have to be great business people. And so right. we're trying to run all the business for them. We want to um, handle all the payments and, um, and just all the kind of busy work and, and things that are hard. 
about running a, an in-home program and let them focus on what they do great, which is teaching Yeah, kids. yeah. And curriculum-wise, where does that come from? Most of our teachers bring their own curriculum. So a lot of them are Montessori trained or Rye trained. Uh, and so they have different philosophies. We also can provide support in coming up with a curriculum. And, um, and really what we use is, is kind of national standard curriculums and, and help you get access to those, which you might not have access to otherwise. Why was this started? And did you start it? Like, who started it? Yeah, I started it with uh, my co-founder, Chris Bennett. It. Um, it was uh, when I was looking for child care for my, he's now three and a half, uh, and it, uh, anyone who's gone through the process of looking for child care knows that it's a horrible experience. There's horrible. just not, not enough out there. And what there is, is and they're either, so expensive. Yeah, it's really expensive. And even the places that are really expensive often have a waiting list of a year or more. Uh, and so we went through that. We actually found a, a great home-based program in Glendale. We sent them a check, and they sent the check back. They wouldn't even take our money. And so, wow. Yeah, it was just, uh, it's <laughs> I wish I could find a place like that that sends me my check back. <laughs> well, they wouldn't, they wouldn't let us in either. Oh, uh, I see. And so we ended up finding a place in Hollywood, which is a really great, um, great school, but it's a 20 minute drive each way. And so it's not the most convenient, but it's, but it's the only option that we had that could make it. And work. when did you start it? So we started this uh, about two years ago. Okay. And, and you're already in 80 places? Yeah. yeah we That's excellent. Locations. Yeah. And, and uh, we hope to be a couple hundred by the end of the year. Wow. So you're kind of good on the business end like you were talking about. <laughs> well, that's, what we do, right? <laughs> that's wonderful. How can people get in touch with you? Uh, so just go to wonderschool.com. If you're a parent, uh, go to wonderschool.com, put in your zip code, and you can, you can look at the schools in your area. If you want to teach, uh, we can help you open a program. Even uh, no matter what your level of experience, we can get you to that point where you can operate a really great program uh, and go to wonderschool.com and just click start a wonder school. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Errol, yeah, for talking really to me. Fun. I appreciate thank it. You. That's really eye opening. And I think <laughs> yeah. a lot of people are going to want to check that out. Yeah, All right. So. Thank All right. you. Thanks. All right. Well, that's it for now. Thanks to Errol Gray for talking with me and we'll see you soon.